walk through our liver protocol that we did last week really quickly. I think the keyboard is like splitting in half too. Is it that one or that one over no, there? Oh, okay. The other one. Running on a budget here, folks. <laughs> I know, <laughs> right? Okay, so. Alright, let me get my little settings going here. Okay, so last time we started in our IVC. That was our most medial sag left liver lobe. And we walked our way across to this lateral. So we had our medial, our mid, and our lateral. Then we did our measurement image. Then we turned to transverse left three. And we aren't really up on that sternum, remember? We're gonna do that push and scoop thing. So we did all the way up at the dome, came down to kind of vessel land, and eventually came down, here's our pancreas, came down to pancreas. So we took those three images. Then we move to Sag right liver lobe. We're going to take those superior borderly Im bordered images. Going to be for so we did right off at IVC, we did a medial, a mid medial, a mid lateral, and a lateral. And we slid all the way down here. Going to be for and if we have bowel gas, where am I going to go? Lateral, lateral or even posterior. Yep. Going to be for so we did that, and we cut that in for your borders. So here's our IBC. So we're going to come just slightly to the right of that IBC. So we had a medial, mid, lateral. We ended at the mid clavicular. We did our measurement right in here. Kind of breathe. Caliper right on the edge of our superior posterior, inferior anterior. It's not have cirrhosis. It's excellent. Okay. Yes. I know that picture paper is expensive, but. Are, is there any way that you're able to print out pictures? Of They're on the back of the whiteboard. Take out oh, I reprinted. Oh, I no, reprinted right. yours yesterday. You reprinted them? Okay, perfect. Oh, I didn't. There's know. the ones. So all the liver okay. pictures. That's yeah, they should be up there. Okay. okay. Yeah, I don't know how they got ruined. Who gets wet on the whiteboard? I don't even understand it. I was thinking about it yesterday, and I think maybe somebody like had it while they were scanning, maybe got gel on it, maybe. like as they were like the patient was looking yeah, at it, maybe. and they like dropped on. I don't know. That's the only thing I could think of. <laughs> Yeah, weird. It's weird. <laughs> All right, go ahead and big breath in a little bit. All right, so we came to our transverse. We've got our dome coming into hepatic land, coming into, oh, portal land. It's going to be important in a second. And then finally coming into that kidney band. So those are our basic liver image, or images, right? We're good to go. So now we're going to do an MPP. So I'm going to come up into this transverse plane. I know I need to get rid of my depth. IVC is right in here. Go ahead and big breath in and hold it. So I'm going to wait for this kind of portal vein to cross the IVC. So I'm all the way up in the dome. I'm angling slightly inferiorly, slightly inferiorly. Well, there's a portal vein, but look how much room is between this and it wants to go into the liver. So that's my left portal. So we're going to continue down here. Here he is. And he likes to be sort of kind of true transverse. He likes to be about 10 o'clock. to link it How are we feeling so far? Looks easy, doesn't it? Easy. When you do it. It is easy. I promise. But the idea is we were kind of starting up top and transverse. We started at that dome. We went down and kind of saw hepatic land. We saw that left portal come in first. So we came uh, even further inferior. We saw that kind of saw him looking well, he's not there anymore. Um, and then we went to 10 o'clock, kind of 9.30, 10 o'clock, to lengthen the mouth. So we have a little bit of pank head over here. So this is going to be our extra hepatic. We're cruising into intrahepatic, and we can measure this right as it crosses the IPC. So our calipers, we're going to do wall to wall. So the inside of this wall and the inside of this wall. I want those little crosshairs actually on the wall, not on the anacolor. She is upper limits of normal. Congratulations. And there's our MPP measurement. Now, why wouldn't I be able to do my color dopplers here? It's flat. Because it's flat. You got it. Yep. So we're going to go intercostal. All right. So first things first. Put your probe down, how the ribs run. So if I'm just like, hey, I need this, I'm like, what is going on? I don't know what's going on here. So start with how the ribs run. And everybody's going to have a little bit different angle, but they should angle towards the belly button, if that makes sense. 
get too close to the angle towards the belly button. Pop up a rib space. Are you seeing anybody that looks convincing? Maybe? Maybe? Yeah. 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 Okay, so let me. Um, so this is our intercostal space. So I'm going to go, so go ahead and big breath in and hold it. This is long. See how it looks like a little reverberation? Like line, 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 line. That's long. So go ahead and breathe out. We can actually watch it kind of slide around, slide by. So sometimes big breaths in may not help for this if we're in this window trying to get these. So here we are angled up. We're all the way up towards the dome. We've got a little bit of long. We're angling way up, coming into hepatic land, angling down into portal land. And if I continue my angle, then I'm going to get this is all one rib space. Some patients, you may have to move a rib space to get from one neighborhood to the other. So if I'm seeing kidney land, where do I need, what do I need to do with my probe? Where do I need to go? Superior. superior. So I'm just going to angle up superior. And oftentimes, too, students want to end up over here for intercostal, but it doesn't work as well. You have to be on this lateral aspect. So do I care that we have no contact? No. If I have a rounded structure, touching a rounded structure. So I just want to make sure this guy's kind of centered, but it's okay if we have some artifact here. The other thing we could do, look, I don't even see any artifact. My image with us down. Isn't that amazing? She's amazing. So we're going to start with our color. And what I usually do is get all my settings ready to go. So my velocity is looking good. And then I just say, patient, go ahead and hold your breath right where it's at. So I don't want big breath in. So actually try big breath in and hold it. So I get my spot and I'm like, ah, what happened? Ah. Go ahead and breathe out. And so I'll just say to my patients, OK, I've got where, you, where I need you. Go ahead and hold your breath right where it's at kind of twizzle around so I can elongate that out, and there's my color image. How are we feeling about that? Wow. Right? Wow. So that's the only one that you guys will need. So the measurement and this one are the only ones that you need for your protocol, but I'm going to show you what else we do because you'll get it third quarter. So the other thing we do is what we call this pulse wave. So see I have this little tiny gate. I can move around and I can sample all of these different velocities. So go ahead and hold your breath right where it's at. So that's her portal band. Now go ahead and breathe a couple times. Do something. So see how it kind of goes away? So what I'll do is, if I have this happen, like my patient's on a ventilator, I'll annotate rest. Like they respired there. They didn't die. Nothing's happening. They had a respiration there. So the radiologist knows that it wasn't like an erroneous reading within the portal vein. My patient was breathing. And I usually don't have to do that with patients that are like comatose and that I can't control. So there's our main portal vein. So you guys are only responsible for the color this quarter, but here's what our spectrograph would look like. Would be hepatopete, hopefully. Hepatopetal flow above the baseline. The other thing that we can do on this is like, oh man, what am I Im imaging? There's two, three ways to update. So I can update here, it will make this go live again. Or I can update with these down here, and it will make it go live again. Or there's an actual update button right here. So there's three ways to update, but it makes this live you're not just guessing what you're looking at. Okay, so next up, same window or maybe a little rib space up. I can angle up and I can get those hepatics. So I can throw color on those hepatics. Now, we expect these to be blue, right? But sometimes they'll be red. Why is that? Did you guys learn about hepatic dollars yet? Okay. We'll listen to it here in a second. Actually, well, okay, so we'll listen to it here in a second. Ah! So that portal vein's pulling blood from the mesentery into the liver. The hepatics are taking that blood and dra draining it back to the IBC in very proximal proximity, proximal proximity to the right atrium of the heart. As the right atrium closes, there's like a pressure gradient. It's like hemodynamics. We'll learn about it next quarter. There's a pressure gradient difference. So like blood's moving forward, blood's moving forward. All of a sudden, the door shuts. They're like, oh, wait, wait, we got to go backwards a little bit. And then it's like, wait, door's open. Let's all rush forward. So we have this kind of change in pressure gradient. So it'll be going forward towards the right atrium. And then when the door shuts, you'll have a little bit of reversal of flow. So it's going to go blue, a little bit of red, blue, a little bit of red. And when we look at the spectral Doppler here in a second, it's called the Wonder Woman. Sign. So it's like down, down, a little bit up, down, down, a little bit up. So we expect blue, blue, a little bit of red, blue, blue, a little bit of red as it goes. Rain has not gone through this with you yet? No. Well, no. shit. Okay, so. But we, when we freeze yeah. this, we want to make sure that we're freezing it on a blue and not a red. And then, let's go back to the advance. Okay, so we're angled. So here's our portal vein. We're angling up superiorly. Now when we look at this, go ahead and hold your breath right where it's at. 
I hope he sounds really cool, huh? So this is where the blood is able to enter the heart, so it's going towards the heart, and then a little bit of pressure difference towards the heart, and then it's like, hey, the door shut. Now we gotta back up a little bit. So now we have like, we're going you know, towards the transducer, we should be going into the heart, and we're like, wait, wait, we gotta go back a little bit. Wait, wait, we gotta go back a little bit. So this is called the Wonder Woman sign. And they call it, it's truly triphasic flows because it goes forward, then backwards, forward, then backwards. So it has like changes. Well, I'll make sure Rain talks to you guys about it. So kind of keep kicking this in. So share it um, the other reason that this takes on this, it looks almost like arterial flow. So when we look at arteries, we're gonna have a big increase with systole, and then as diastole hits, it's gonna kind of peter out or even go backwards. So this looks like pulsatile flow, but we only see pulsatile flow in the arterial system, but the proximity of the right atrium encourages this kind of waveform to occur, the Wonder Woman side. So it looks like a pulsatile uh, vessel, but it's just because of the proximity to the right atrium. It's kind of tricking us, because it's truly a pain. So how's that feeling for you? So you're only responsible for two of these images, and then later on we'll get into these. But do look around, oh and I'll show you too. Um, do look around and kind of see, you know, what you can see and kind of play around with it. So here's my window for portal vein. And then I can angle up or maybe move up a rib space with breath out. Which is a really hard breath, breath out pull, but just never fun to do. So we found kind of our window for hepatics. We found our window for a portal, but sometimes the hepatics can be difficult to see here. So we have that going through the So we have that backup window, and when you're ready, big breath. We have that backup window of the bunny sign. We can use the bunny sign if we need to, so we can sample the hepatics in here. So we can sample the hepatics in here if we needed to. But the reason I don't particularly care to do that is I get a lot of artifact from the tissue. The liver itself is moving significantly in there, so it just gives me a lot of artifact around it. And then my super duper fat man backup window is sad to a big breath in it. And just where that hepatic is coming into the, the IVC. And this one's a little more limited. It has a lot of motion artifact because I'm really close to the heart. And it's limited because I'm only able to see one hepatic at a time. So it's my backup, backup, backup window. But ideally, I'm here. You may have to drop a little bit of depth to get your hepatic from your portal to the hepatic because hepatics are very retroperitoneal, whereas the portal is more anterior. So you might have to drop a little bit of depth. But I can usually either hop a rib space up to get the hepatics or just angle. Backup window is going to be that bunny sign. And then, of course, that sagittal just showing that hepatic entering the IPC. So check, check, check it out. But the ones you are responsible for are going to be the main portal vein with measurements, which is going to be a midline, kind of 10 o'clock, and then that intercostal with color only. But I do encourage you to play with the rest. But you'll be responsible for the third quarter. So you can't be like, I never learned that. I'd be like, I never learned that. All right, I'm going to leave you cooped up with that.